Welcome to workout number 37. We're gonna do a bliss and release and stretch. So stretching is really releasing. And so now that we've established that, the best way to get a good release is to create some tension and some heat in there and those muscle bellies and the joints and then release. And I'm just gonna feel this, play this out by ear the whole time through. I've been working out for a long time, so I usually do, actually I always do pretty good just making up a workout as I go along. Just because I've been doing it for so long, I'm really great at listening to my body and what it needs at any given moment. So modify as you need to. My note of caution is, uh, this is general information, not specific to anybody, so take responsibility for your own safety and do what is right for you and feel free to follow along with this free workout number 37. So let's get started, okay? Point this down. It's a beautiful backdrop and sounds of the water. And the sun is out. So just start by taking a couple of breaths. In. And then exhale. In. And exhale, scraping the walls behind you. Draw your kneecaps up towards your hips. Another inhale. Another one. And another. Now prayer hands and press together. Press your hands together, starting to build up some tension and some heat and keep breathing. And flex the quads, drawing your kneecaps up. Keep breathing big. Now clasp your hands like this. Bring them out front and try to separate them. So you're doing this motion, building more tension in your body. Now it's the back you're mostly building tension in at the moment, the back of the shoulders. And keep drawing the kneecaps up. Now overhead, try to separate your hands still clasped. Now scrape the wall behind you on the exhale. Now clasp behind you. Try to pull the hands apart. Stretch out the chest. Keep drawing the kneecaps up. Okay, now we're just gonna get right down into a lunge, okay? Keeping your hands clasped. Uh, left leg out. And go for a 90 degree front knee flexion. And the back leg is straight, like so. Get down as deep as you can into it. And keep pulling apart the hands and back. Let the tension build. You come up. Release, now go back down and release into a good stretch. Go as deep as you can, release into it on the exhale. So the breath work with this is also very important for releasing big inhales so you can get big exhales throughout the entire workout. Now release the hands, shake it out. Try to go a little deeper. Put the hands in, straight up. Reach for the sky, so you're elevating the shoulders. Okay, now clasp again, try to separate the hands. Straighten the leg. Now we're gonna to go to the other side. Clasp behind you, and go down into it. Square off your hips to the ground and forward. And keep your knee from buckling in. You want to make sure you can see your big toe. Keep your hips and your shoulders forward. And your knees should be stacked right above your ankle. Keep breathing. Now straighten the leg. Keep pulling your hands apart while they're clasped behind you. Now release 
go back into it and get a nice release. You just tensed up, there's heat built up. Try to go further on the exhale. Oh, that feels so good. And keep your shoulders also stacked on top of your hips so that you don't bend forward. If you can't go as deep as me, don't worry. Just maintain that awesome form where things are stacked on top of each other properly. Your knees stacked on top of your ankles, your shoulders stacked on top of your hips. Now go deeper if you can. Now bring the hands up. Keep the back leg straight, hands up. Elevate your shoulders, keep breathing. Shake it. Prayer hands, clasp them front and pull apart. Now come up. Okay, now, open up your legs, toes pointed forward, drawing the kneecaps up. Prayer hands, inhale, scrape the wall behind you and fold forward. Okay, back up again. When we go back down, let gravity pull the weight of your head and your upper body down into the stretch, okay? So you're letting gravity pull you down. Go again. Okay, come back up on the inhale. Now, stay here, draw your kneecaps towards your hips, big breaths. Now when you go down, try to relax into the stretch to go deeper. Relax your hamstrings and your thighs and really go for the release to get deeper safely. Ready? On the big inhale and then the exhale, go down. Come up on the inhale. Now this time, exhale down, but stay up. Now clasp your hands behind you. And you're gonna go for a shoulder stretch, kind of overhead like this. So a big inhale and exhale and go down. And if you can, add that shoulder stretch with your hands clasped, go. One more breath. Okay, come back up again. Now walk your feet in. Kick your legs out a little if you'd like. You might find this is yoga inspired, because it is, but it's not really a yoga routine. Okay, now cross your arms like so. This is called Eagle. And go up. Arching her back and look up and breathe. Continuing to draw your kneecaps up. And shake and do the other side.
feels so good. A nice blissful release and stretch, right? Okay, now we're gonna go into downward facing dog starting with the sun salutation. Very yoga, right? So stand like this at the front of your mat actually. Very hands, drawing the kneecaps up. Breath work always. Big inhale. So exhale, pull down. Another inhale with your back flat. And on the exhale, round the back and go all the way down. Inhale, fly back. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, fly back. A couple more of these, exhale down. Each time releasing. One more time after this one. Inhale up. Stay here. Now on the exhale, we're gonna either step or jump back into a plank, okay? Exhale. One arm out. A really great stretch and reach. The other one. Add your leg if you can, the opposite leg if you can. Alternating, a nice squeeze at the top. One more. You okay, now roll your toes forward, then back. Forward and do this a few times and back. Now go back into child's pose. Back into plank and into downward facing dog. Butt is as high as it can be. You're pushing your hands away from your feet. Back is straight. Arms and back is one straight line. Your legs are one straight line. Now, go into an upward facing dog like this. Or cobra. Cobra, your legs are on the floor. Upward facing dog, you're going to push down with your feet, bring your legs above the floor. You're going to depress your shoulders all the way so your head is up out of its shell. Take a couple breaths. Back in a downward facing dog. You can transition however you like. You can go a straight arm or you can bend your arms and push back up, which is the more difficult option you, you choose. Okay, back into upward facing dog. Now I want you to just go back and forth between upward facing dog and downward facing dog at your own pace with your breath work. So you're constantly moving in motion, but slowly in control. And we're gonna do that for a minute. Go. And your feet should stay where they're at, your hands and feet should stay planted.
a few more. There should be all kinds of tension, heat, and a lot of releasing. facing dog, and one more downward facing dog, and then go back into plank. I roll forward, backward, forward, backward, child's pose for a breath. Four, two, now, come back into plank. Go into upward facing dog, your best one, and hold it. After all that tension, release, break new grounds. Child's pose. Back in a plank, now downward facing dog. Break new ground, release. Get all that tension, time to release and break new ground, go. Reach out to the side, one side, walk your hands and get a nice stretch along your side. Now walk to the other side, to the other side. And then to the center and get another stretch. Okay, now on all fours. Now this is something I haven't seen done often, but it feels so good. It looks kind of funny, but stick with me. Okay, so now, to the back of your yoga mat. It's like an extending child's pose to get a greater stretch in your shoulders, if you can. So you're gonna put your hands forward, just walk them forward. And go down and, and just feel your way into a nice stretch. And you might wanna inch your way forward a little bit if you can, like this. My chest is on the floor right now, and my butt's still in the air, and I'm getting a fabulous stretch. Now I'm going to do it again. I invite you to do it again as well. Just inch your way forward, and really feel your way to an excellent release and stretch. Sticking your butt as high as you can in the air to really make it work. All right, very good. While we're here, let's do a cat and cow. So here's cow, big inhale. And then cat, rounding your back. Cow, inhale. Really exaggerate your posture here. And then cat, exhale. A couple more of those at your own pace with your breath work. All right, now do some little huggers. Let gravity sort of pull your arms out of their sockets. Not literally, but let gravity do the work to pull your arms to traction out your joints, especially in your shoulders and maybe your elbows right now because of what we just did. Once you recover them before the next move, 
Isn't this bliss? Oh, I love this. It's so good. Just shake it out and do what you need to do right now. It doesn't have to be exactly what I'm doing, just whatever your body is telling you that feels good for an active, active recovery, right? All right, so now, I'm gonna put you into a, a wide stance squat like so. Very wide, toes pointed out sort of at an angle. I want you to come down and push apart your inner thighs with the back of your arms like so. And keep your chest and your head up. We are about to do something so incredibly good for the spine. And if you can keep a healthy spine as you get older, man, that's fountain of youth material right there. Okay, now come up. Point toes forward, maybe open a little bit more. And I want you to go down with both hands and then we're gonna raise the right arm to the sky. The goal, as close as you can, you're gonna to wanna to stack your right shoulder on top of your left shoulder when we're down. Perfect stacking. And if you can't go down all the way, don't worry about it. Just do the best that you can. But as you show up and do the lifestyle every day, your goal is gonna to be to look like this, watch. Okay, and stacked, arm is straight up. So let's go. Release, get your breath work into it. We've activated all the muscles with all the tension and the heat. So let's breathe and release into it. Bliss and release, right? Go. Now switch. 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 Now every breath, switch at your own pace so you're not stopping. Like that, like that, and breathe. Just go at your own controlled pace. Maybe with each time up, you're actively trying to twist a little more, reach a little farther on the exhale. A couple more. Last one. Now we'll go down all the way with both hands. And then come up one vertebrae at a time, like so. Shake out your arms. Bring your feet in, kick them out for a spell. And then go back into it. Now we're going to hold it statically a little bit longer on each side. So go down, pick a side, and hold it for a few breaths and release. Bliss and release. Let's go. Other side. Reach as far as you can. Break new ground. Okay, all the way down. Now the other side again. Try to go further. Other side, try to go further. All right, all the way down. Just one breath all the way down and then come back up slowly. Beautiful. Some puckers. Step back in. Maybe kick your legs out a little. What a beautiful, blissful workout. It's bliss. I just love bliss. Who doesn't love bliss? Share this with your friends and family. Oh my. All right, next, the next moving part we're gonna do is gonna be based on a lunge. So let's enjoy that. All right, first it's gonna be a little bit of a curtsy. Get rid of my yoga mat, don't need it right now. I don't feel like stepping on it. 
Okay, so bend a little at your knees, keeping your knees above your ankles, stacking, right? Shoulders, knees, ankles, and butts out. And it's gonna do a little curtsy. Slowly, build up a little tension. This is not a workout where we are killing ourselves, like maybe in other workouts. This one is a workout where you're building tension, where you're finding peace in that tension. Building a storm, muscle burn, that storm that you're finding bliss and peace, the calmness in the storm. That is a tenant of yoga, by the way. A major inspiration, not just for working out, but for life. Because that's life, they're storms. They take various shapes, whatever those storms are. You can find the calmness and the peace and the bliss in those storms. You're gonna be more productive at solving those problems that represent the storm anyway. Instead of stressing and making a, a bad situation even worse. Also stress is a huge contributor for disease and tearing down your natural immunity. So you have to get rid of stress. And what a great conditioning for that here, which transfers into real life, better sleep, better digestion, better metabolic processes of all kinds. Okay, that's enough tension. Now come up, draw the kneecaps up, push the hands together, not clasp, pull them apart, keep breathing. Okay, kick everything out a little. Now, go into a lunge. Straighten the leg, pivot and go to the other side. Do this for a few breaths on each side. Make sure the knee is over the ankle. See, I had to make that correction. So be mindful and correct as you need to as well. Beautiful. Now come up. Now I want you to do squat here, very wide squat. Come back up, and do the lunge again with the straight leg and a very wide squat. Do another lunge. And come up, don't squat, just stand here. Draw the knees up. Pretend like you're squeezing your thighs together, but you're not moving your feet and just sort of squeeze them together. And stand here for a moment, breathing. Oh, that feels so good. Another couple of breaths, squeeze. Now we're gonna do a warrior one and warrior two sequence. As I feel. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with present pose, which is basically what we've been doing, a lunge with the straight leg like so. Okay, as deep as you can into it. Oh, that feels so good. Now the back heel is gonna go down. Actually, put your back heel back up, put your arms up, true crescent pose. Now bring the back heel down. Try to face your toes at a diagonal, as close as you can. Make sure you can still see your big toe on your front leg. And round or square everything forward. Shoulders, chest, hips, as much as you can. I actually have to come up a little bit Otherwise, I'm not squaring properly. So do what you have to do. Straighten the leg. Release. Now, get back down into it after that tension and release into the stretch. So there's one release here and then another release after that tension to go deeper into the stretch with your breath work. Now warrior two, just bring your arms down like so. Keep your body straight, your shoulders on top of your hips. So you're not doing this, you're doing this. And then come up and back down. Come up and back down. Come up, we're gonna go back down and stay in it and try to release deeper into it.
beautiful. She now arms back up in the warrior. One, in crescent pose. And back down to warrior one. One arm and back, reverse. Reverse it. Straighten the leg. Stretch more. Release more. Back into it. Okay. In front. Now we're back in a crescent pose. Deep as you can. Release and come up. Stretch high as you can. Drawing the kneecaps up. Exhale, imaginary wall behind you. Let's do the other side. Hopefully I can remember what I just did. So we are going to repeat it. So kick the legs out. And the other side. Okay. So front leg forward. For me, it's my right leg this time. My left leg goes forward last time. Go deep. Just like so. You still see your big toe in front of you. Shoulders stacked up on top of your hips. Knee on top of your ankle. Back leg is straight or as straight as it can be. You have to come up some to do these things. Do it. Then put your heel down. And then put your heel back up. Put your arms up. Yeah, so far I think this is exactly what I did on the other side. Very good. Now come up. Back down. Whoops. Kind of a balance move here too. Come up. Down. One more time up. Release. And then release again into the stretch. We go deeper. Now put your back heel down. Keep the arms up. Best you can to square the hips and the shoulders forward. So I gotta come up a little or otherwise I can't. <laughs> come up, release. Back down, release. Oh yeah. Now warrior two. Remember, don't go forward. Stay back, shoulders stacked on top of your hips. Come up, release, and release down into the stretch. Come up, okay, come up. Oh, you might notice a little weird jump in the video. My video has stopped for some reason. I have no idea why. And then back up. So I'm picking up where I left off, hopefully without missing a beat. Okay, back up one more time. Now release. You release the tension, now release into the stretch and go further. Stacking the shoulders on the hips, continuing. Feels so good. Now reverse. Come up, release, stretch further. And then back down, release. Go further into the stretch, into the further side stretch, and further into the lunge. Oh, okay, come up. Back down again, release. Now, warrior two. Swing around warrior one. Still see your big toe, now crescent. Bring your heel up. Up. Okay, now shake everything out. Kick a little, hands straight up. Reach for the sky, elongate everything, your entire spine, your neck, head up, drawing your kneecaps up towards your hips. Keep reaching. On the exhale, scrape the imaginary wall behind you. Clasp behind, pull your hands apart, shoulders back, exaggerate your posture, stretch the chest, draw your kneecaps up. Now in front, clasp. Actively pull apart, still drawing your kneecaps up. Now reverse your clasp and still keep pulling apart. Now go out in front. Reverse again your clasp. Overhead. Now reverse your clasp overhead. All right. So this particular blissful workout 
sound like a broken record. It's a wonderful, a blissful bro broken record. It's bliss and, and release, that's the broken record, right? But we're just doing uh, mostly compound movements and stretches and releases here instead of little nuanced, isolated ones. I got another bliss workout where I did more isolated ones. This is just major muscle groupings. It feels so good. So just continue to shake things out, kick. We're basically done. So now you're gonna wanna get some water, some berries, some fruit, some plant-based proteins. Do this. Clasp and do this. This feels really good on the wrists. And I drink a superfood shake after every workout. I have been for over 10 years. It's rewarded me pretty well. So if you're interested in taking a look at that to see if it's something you want to include in your daily ritualistic medicinal behaviors, let me know, or the person who invited you here, let that person know. And we'll send you our respective company replicated website. You can take a look at that. If you want to be a customer or an independent representative, let me know, or the person who invited you here. And we'll, and we'll go from there. Oh, so your recovery is super important now. Water, the right beverage or berries, fruit, plant-based pro uh, protein. Replenish the vitamins and minerals you just depleted and went through and burned off. And the body's like a sponge after a workout. You've only got so much time, then the body returns to normal and you miss that window of opportunity. So for me, within a few minutes, um, my car is just parked over there. I got my stuff ready to go, <laughs> including that superfood shake that bottles up really nicely too. So invite people here, uh, people who would like these free workouts and free recipes and good positivity, be around a good uh, energy vortex of people who want to lift each other up. And you're welcome to invite other positive-minded people here. And uh, with that, I blow you a kiss goodbye for now. That was bliss and release. A stretching, much more than a stretching routine. Take care, everyone.